Hi, welcome to the In Industry Astrology Full Moon Forecast for October 20th, 2021. The moon is waxing, the energy is increasing. How are you feeling? On October 20th at 7.57 a.m. Pacific Time, the moon will reach the end of the Purnima Tithi and begin to wane again. Excited, agitated or exhilarated, overwhelmed or intimidated <laughs> this full moon has a lot of action a lot of power in it and there's a forward motion coming in in the weeks to follow this full moon this full moon is also the blessed Sharad Purnima a very auspicious full moon when it's said that the moonlight is especially saturated with the soma this amrita of re rejuvenation and life and so there's a lot of nourishment in this moonlight. So if you can, try to get outside if there's no cloud cover and get some of these moonbeams, um, catch some of these moonbeams. They are full of um, the power of healing and spiritual renewal. Also, it's a tradition in India to leave out um, some sweet, maybe milk or rice or some liquid like water in a glass jar so that they can uh, soak up some of this moonlight and create a sort of prasad of the moon that you can drink or eat later and share with your family and friends. The full moon will be in the area of the sky called Ashwini, Ashwini Nakshatra. Ashwini is symbolized by a horse's head. It's actually the first nakshatra. It's found in sidereal Aries. So there's a lot of fire and a lot of exhilaration, a lot of energy to go forward to be reborn. It's kind of a new beginning, this full moon. So there's this aspect of Mars. Mars is about to transit into Libra and make a direct aspect under the moon, creating a Chandra Mangala Yoga. And this um, energy, it gives bravery. It gives a, it's sort of a sense of, yes, I can move forward. I can step forward now. We also have a lot of planets stationing direct too right now. Mercury and Jupiter going direct on October 18th as I speak. Um, Jupiter was first earlier this morning and Mercury is now at this time. You know, it's a it's a shift in direction. Saturn also turned direct just um, on October 10th. And so this turnabout, there's a sort of stop and a move forward, a sort of future vision that is coming forward in the weeks to come. It's a great time to push through fears and hesitations make decisions, take the steps that you need to make to move forward in your life. Ashwini also has a lot of healing powers to it. It's ruled by the Ashwini Kumar, these um, twins that were said to be physicians of the gods. And it's said that they bring a prana, a sort of energy, a renewal, a rejuvenation of the channels in the body and the breath how we breathe so this is also a time to connect with your vitality to work on your healing process whatever it is a lot of positive forward motion again can be seen as we move forward through october this full moon is also so celebrated as the blessed rasa lila when the gopis dance with lord krishna all through the night in this blissful night that seems to last for eternity so it's a very auspicious looking full moon, but one that also has a lot of charge, a lot of turnaround to it, which means there's change, but a po it looks like a positive forward motion that we've been ready to take for some time as all these planets move forward. So let's just see what the cards have to say about this full moon in Ashwini Nakshatra. Okay, so the first card that came through is the Nine of Coins. The abundance of life. It's, it's a harvest moon, this moon, in the Northern Hemisphere anyway. It's about celebrating the abundance of life. And, and actually, in some parts of India, this full moon, the Shrad Purnima, is celebrated as the birthday of the goddess Lakshmi, the goddess of wealth. 
and material abundance. And then here we have the queen, kind of like Dora got here, we had just had Navaratri, the queen of fire. And this, like I was saying, there's a lot of fire, it feels like a lot of action in this full moon. Um, it's like around getting your power back, perhaps getting your connection to your true essence back, that prana, opening those channels. And then the final card here, the Four of Swords. And it's interesting, I feel like this might be a saying that even though there's a lot of turnaround right now, like I was saying, Saturn stationed, then Jupiter and Mercury. It's not moving forward yet. <laughs> it's almost like we have to stop on this full moon and look forward and vision what it is we we want. Take a moment to retract even a little bit to get very clear about how your future trajectory will be, how your path will really resonate with your true heart. New possibilities are opening. Connect with the abundance of the earth, of your true will, of your spirit that wants to rise up and grow. Take a moment at this stationary point to ground into your heart. Hold on to your fire and reconnect with what's true. There's no need to rush forward. Go slow and allow your path to unfold. Okay, thanks for joining me for the full moon forecast. I do offer one-on-one -on -one Vedic astrology readings on Zoom or by phone if you're in the United States. Um, you can book the reading with me on my website. I'll leave a link in the description window below. Also, I write a blog and you can get on my newsletter for free. I'm also on Instagram and Facebook. So check it out and do subscribe to this YouTube channel if you like it. And I will see you soon on the next new moon.